Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh, just lost my horse. Seven L's. Ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat. <gasps> Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. Ooh. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, an oh, man, man holds that's terrifying. secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father is the Warden of the North. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? The Lord? Shh! Listen! There. Hear that? I know I heard something. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. Oh shit! My heart is beating so fast. We gotta get back and warn everybody. Gosh, this guy is gonna be messed up, dude. Look at his arms. Oh! They literally de-skinned him. Lord Ethan, as I was saying, you are young, and there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. And what would they call me? That is for you to define as the new lord. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move! <sighs> Summon the Lord! We need his judgment. Oh shit! I've done nothing wrong! I was only trying to survive! Lord Ethan. Mason. Who 
is this man? My sister's this watching. This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! <laughs> Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. They're not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone! Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan. You must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. He's a thief. They can send him to the war. I will decide. Shit, dude, this is hard. Take his fingers! He's a thief! If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. I want to take three fingers just because... Oh, dude. We have to think about this. I want to take three fingers just because that would be awesome to see and I want to be like this badass king. But at the same time, I want to be a good guy. But you know what? Video games are meant for being bad. I, Ethan of House Forrester, Lord of Ironrath, name you a thief. Kill him. The price for your crime is three of your fingers. Help! Please, my lord! My lord, please! Please, no! My lord, normally it is the lord's duty to carry out the sentence. But I am willing to carry it out. If you do not feel ready, I will carry out the sentence. Shit, I feel so bad, dude. I wish we wouldn't have now. But oh well. <laughs> this is injustice, my lord! Didn't steal from us, bro. Oh, sister's mad. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. Maester, what do you think? Me? Yes. Did I do what's right? As Maester, I cannot support mutilation. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. And I'm sure you think you'd be the perfect choice. Me? Oh, gods, no. I can't get involved. I am a maester. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve as such. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. Thank you for your counsel, Maester. It is my duty. 
Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. I wish we wouldn't have taken his fingers, man. That makes me really sad. I want to be a good guy, not a ruthless king. We're definitely going to be going with Duncan here. I think Duncan is much smarter and level-headed. No, I don't want to talk to him yet. Let's talk to Duncan. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. I haven't decided yet. Well, you must soon, my lord. This is not a matter to be taken lightly. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. You didn't help at all. We talked to our sister? Nope, she hates us. Slash and parry. Slash and... Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, dealing out a harsh punishment, no matter how warranted. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow, at first light. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. Well, I didn't my just showcase that by taking that guy's face. fingers, but... My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Oh, wow. Ethan, okay. I need to talk to you. It's not what I was expecting. Maybe we should go with Royland over Duncan. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. The way you punished him. How could you be so cruel? I'm worried about you. What am I supposed to think? Do you think it's easy? I'm the third born son. Father never prepared me for this. I'm doing the best I can. I know you are, Ethan. I know. You promised me you wouldn't change, and I believed you. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the war without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. But I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts his judgment. Sir Royland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. We're definitely going with Duncan. I trust my sister, man. And she's right. 
He may not be like a super badass crazy warrior, but he's also not a hothead that's gonna make mistakes. Wing left. Sorry. Wrong. I didn't know so dogs could hold swords. A word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. What's the state of our defenses? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot? Ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and centre. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weak. Thank you, Sir Royland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And, uh, you should know that swinging that blade yourself took stones. It was a man's way of justice. I've got balls, bro. All right. This is a really tough decision. I think we have to go with Duncan. I think that's going to be our best bet. Let's look at this food over here. I want to see what this is about. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. How bad is it? How long could we hold the house? We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. No, there must be something else we can do. Well, I hope we find it soon. We won't have much room to maneuver if we don't have the option of holding fast. I can speak to the huntsmen and trappers. Perhaps they can do more. My lord. All right, time to talk to the maester. Are you holding a sword or a turkey leg? 